We all have our favorite go-to wines, but it never hurts to expand our horizons and our palates to try something new. Yeah, so we have our friend Jason Stubblefield from CorkEnvy.com joining us to help discover some delicious forgotten grape varieties. You're going to help yes. us branch out. I am, absolutely. But a bum. Yeah, that was funny. That Thank was you. Cute. All right, I like yes. that. Okay, so how do we go about finding different grape varieties? Well, I, I, I've said this before on the show, taste mm. everything. Don't mm. be afraid to taste things, even varieties you've tasted before, because sometimes in different places uh, made by different winemakers, those wines will actually taste differently. So a Chardonnay made in Burgundy is maybe going to taste a little bit different than a Chardonnay made in California. Oh, so so okay. we go with that. Uh, okay. a, another good thing is we call this Forgotten Grapes. Uh, my best good friend and podcast co-host Chris Kern has a Forgotten Grapes web, uh, wine club oh. where four times a year he sends you six bottles of wine uh, and you get three varieties, one international and one domestic. So you not only get new varieties, but you also get uh, to see how these things are, how the wines are different uh, domestically and internationally. That's pretty cool. Okay, so right. what's the first one? All right, so trying. first up we have Chenin Blanc, and I mentioned that sometimes wines made in different areas are going to taste differently. So okay. Chenin Blanc is native to the Loire Valley of France. Okay, that's uh, This the, is our first white one right, right here, okay, yes, right. with the number one on it. Okay. Now, this is uh, planted also pretty much in every major wine region of the world now, but there's more Chenin Blanc now planted in South Africa wow. than anywhere else. Brittany, you got the right. asset they're, on they're that, didn't you? They're big in their wines, aren't they, in South you. Africa? They really are, yes. Yeah. Uh, but Chenin Blanc is a go-to for them. Yeah, uh, like so the Chenin Blancs from South Africa are going to be a little more uh, tropical fruity. You might get more, yeah. actually, even towards banana flavors mm -hmm. from them. But this one here from Loire, you're get, it, it's a high acid wine, so it ages fairly well. Uh -huh. uh, it's made in dry styles. It's made in sweet styles. It's made in sparkling styles. Uh, so depending on how it's made, you can pair this with a variety of dishes. The dry styles, obviously, salads, chicken, fish. You get to a sweeter style. Uh, you can uh, pair it with desserts and other things like that. It's really and good. some stinky cheeses. Yeah, All it's right. very nice. Okay. All, All right. right, next up. So next up we have Carmenere. So Carmenere, Carmenere. Uh, yeah, Carmenere started in, was native to the Bordeaux region of France. Uh -huh. uh, it's pretty much not planted there anymore. There's a few vines there, but it's mostly now planted in Chile, uh, where it has done very well and where until for most of the last century, people actually thought it was a clone of Merlot instead of its own grape variety. And then some scientists examined the DNA of these grapes and decided, mm -hmm. wow, this is actually Bordeaux Carmenere. Huh, so with this, you're going to get a little bit of smoke. It's a, it's a, it's a medium-bodied yeah. wine. It's got some tannins, a yeah. little bit of acid, but you get some fruit. It's a little muted. Mm -hmm. These are yeah. made to drink young. Drink them young. Pair them with grilled meats. I mean, this is a great barbecue wine as well. Are these okay. cheaper uh, than like your typical like Merlot or? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, they're actually fairly well priced. Uh, okay. Wines from Chile and Argentina are, you know, it's they plant a lot of grapes there. Really, really well priced okay. actually for that. Okay. So yeah. And All what right. is the third one? All right, the third one. You want to pronounce the variety? No, you don't. It's nope. called Ayanico. Ayanico. So some people will pronounce this Aglianico oh, okay. or Aglianico. Yeah. Um, it's Ayanico properly. Most people here in the States say Aglianico. Okay. Um, and you kind of roll into that. Uh, so this is a grape that was brought from Greece uh, to Italy okay. uh, in ancient times. Uh, there's very little grown there. There's not a lot grown uh, of Aglianico grown outside of Italy. But, point of fact, there are two wineries right here locally who are actually producing this grape. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, very okay. shocking. Yeah. I actually uh, covered both of them in the City Magazine article I did for oh, this month uh, yes. with the cool. local wine touring. So check those out. It's really yeah. cool. So this, this is a black grape. Obviously, I mean, you look it's at the really color of the wine. Dark. Yeah. It's really, really dark. dark. It's got a lot of those tannins we mm -hmm. talked about, that kind of puckery factor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fruit's a little muted, but it's a great, uh, this is great for like, Heavy meat, so I was say cheeses, lamb. like you were talking about. You can about do some, some bigger, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, stinkier cheeses as well on there. Yeah. But, um, it's yeah, you good. look on the fence about this one a little bit. A little yeah. bit, a yeah. little bit. All right, uh, not my favorite. I'm guessing your favorite is the Carmenere. Uh, actually, the first one. Oh, yeah, wow. wow. I, I like the I first one. I almost know too. that was Britney's yeah. favorite. Right? <laughs> I know, yeah, I know, I did. I like Absolutely. The first one so, if somebody wants to find you, how can they do that? Uh, go to corkemmy.com. You can, there's a link to my buddy's uh, Forgotten Grapes website. You Great. can find our podcasts. You can find my uh, current series on cocktails to make with my homemade tonic, which we covered last time I was here. All right.